Okay, so I put the top in my mouth. I don't got my bottoms in right now. Um, but it's like not the next day, but the next day after. And um, I'm just practicing with my teeth in my mouth. And I'm still just like, you know, obviously lisping and learning how to use my teeth and everything. So there's like a few days before a few days after get my teeth in my mouth and everything learn how to eat with them in my bottom teeth they're not in right now because I just put my top ones in to practice with them and it is let's see February 24th I got them out February 22nd so yesterday I didn't have them in that much they are still a bit uncomfortable and I got still learn them still put them in my mouth and take care of them really good maybe it would help if i sat here and talked on the camera because i need to talk with them in my mouth and i got food and drinks that i've been eating and drinking and stuff and um just trying to do my best with these um as i kind of probably better if i put the bottoms in my mouth i'm trying to like get used to like swallowing my saliva because i create a lot of saliva I like um they look good. They look good on me. It's just that I'm trying to get used to the suction on them and talking and eating and all that other stuff that I have to relearn to do now. Uh, they're really, they're really good. They're still a little uncomfortable for me. Right at first trying to learn how to put them in. So far how they are going for me right now. Still a little uncomfortable but I gotta get used to it so yeah. Okay so um I just recently woke up from a nap. It's Monday, February 26th right now. I'm actually, like, oops. I'm actually looking at my phone right here. I made that cute little background. I have my top teeth in, not my bottom ones. Still practicing. Um, I think I might need something to like lock them in a bit, which I do have. But yeah, just giving you guys a little bit of an update. I took a bath. I like how wet my teeth are when I come in here. Anyway, I took a bath in my bathtub right there. And then you, you think that like baths are like wake you up in the morning. But mine actually made me like fall back to sleep or whatever. So I fell back to sleep and my cat joined me in bed I guess. And I just tried popping my teeth in and filming. So yeah, I fell asleep with wet hair. And so if my hair seems like all over the place, that's why. But I am in my bathroom. Just, you know, trying to film and keep talking. I heard that this villain will go away eventually, so, yeah. Okay, so, um, I'm trying to look for what to make for lunch. It's 11.06. I thought it was a than that. But, uh, yeah, I'm still lisping. I don't have the bottom bottoms in my mouth which I probably should but I don't sleep with them in so I take them out like if I want to sleep or something like that and I look for something for lunch and cook it feels good that I can like talk on here now with teeth in my mouth and you know it's just different for me now that I could be on camera so yeah I've been filming a little bit of what I'm eating and whatnot sorry the lighting this over here something easy for me to try and eat and try to eat on camera for you, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so this part I'd probably cut out of my video. But now since I have tooth in my mouth right now. I have Spanish rice over there cooking in the microwave. I got a little bit left right here. Some eggs. So I think I'm going to like whip up some eggs and Spanish rice. And I don't know. I got a pan right here. Hopefully it's not too long. Got my pan right here. I'm just gonna cook everything up and just hope it all comes out good. And I'm still gonna puree it because I'm still on a puree diet because it would be hard for me to still chew food. I'm still always starting to try to chew some food. I also have this Tostito cheese because it's easy for me to eat right now. So yeah, we'll see how well it goes. Okay, so hopefully you could see that well. And yeah, I'm still lisping you guys because it takes a while to get used to new teeth. I have Spanish rice in here. I'm gonna crack an egg. Don't get any shells in here. Alrighty. Oh, so do I make a French toast? 
but then I just decided maybe not make French toast, maybe save that for breakfast tomorrow. Short snippets of how I'm doing throughout my week with the new teeth in my mouth, so yeah, I just thought I would do that. I'm gonna put these eggs away, I gotta find my spatula, not over here, over here in this container. So yeah, I think it feels good now that I can speak to you guys a bit better. I mean, I have a list, but I meant with like a teeth in my mouth and I can vlog again. I think I got cheese, I'm not sure. I know I don't got any shredded cheese, which this would have been yummy with, the rice. Then I'm gonna put some butter in here. Can you guys see it? Well, okay, you can again. I don't have to do any more vo much of voiceovers, even though I do like doing voiceovers, so it doesn't mean that the voiceovers are going to be completely gone off my channel. I did the voiceover because I didn't want to be in front of the camera that teeth in my mouth, so. But some of my videos that I did do voiceover for was really nice. It was extra work editing, but it was still really nice and fun. So I'm going to let that cook. I'm going to put the eggs and everything back in the fridge, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we are in my bed right here. This is usually where I eat, because I have my tabletop stand right here. You guys can't see it, because you're sitting on it. The cook TV in here that I moved up here from downstairs, because I don't want cable in my room anymore. I just do not watch it or anything, so I'm going to fix you guys a bit. But yeah, I didn't watch the cable TV. The moon news and like Christmas movies. But I put the Roku up here because I just watch YouTube and like movies, so that's about it. And I moved it closer to my bed because when I'm not wearing my glasses, I cannot see. I'm like near side, so I can't see in distance. But yeah, here's my food. That's here it came out. I'm going to try to take a small bite and eat. A bit uncomfortable, but I'll get there. It's good. I don't have a problem with taste, which is good either. I know some people, when they get new teeth, they do. I also brought this up for my fruit, banana, blueberry mix. I got my water right here. That I should try to sip. So yeah, it's all taking time for me to do, but I'll get the hang of it. Because I'm only on day, what day is it? It's 26th. Yeah, it's the 26th today. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Five days, and some of those days I didn't keep my teeth in my mouth all day long, so. And I was learning little baby bites all over again, learning my bite. It'd probably help if I had my other bottom tooth in, but I don't have them in right now. I should probably learn to put them in and out. Which I've been learning as well. I'm trying to take a little bit bigger bites, but try to keep it small. Because I have to like learn my new mouth of where to put the food and how to swallow it again. It's like learning all over again. Okay, so I have filming on both things. I also have these baby foods. Um, that are really good. It's a banana. This one's banana and blueberry. So it's really good for breakfast or a snack. So I would just like take it, open it up, and slowly put a little bit in my mouth, like on the front. I'm practiced eating with my teeth with it. Really good. Just like that. I'm slowly starting to get the hang of it, where to remove it in my mouth. Because I have to learn a whole new tooth shape and everything in my mouth too. Because it causes like saliva and whatnot. I should have put in butter for Pam. Spray some Pam down in here. Baby food, yeah, but those baby foods have been helping me a lot too. Because it's like putting a little bit of food in my mouth that's already pre pureed. Um, and it's just helping me. Certain things are slowly helping. I don't know if I got vegetables. Vegetables would be yummy in here. Like really yummy. These baby foods are healthy for you. I ate a lot of these when I got out of surgery too. 
and I just put a little bit in the front of my mouth. And then I like, use my tongue to learn how to like put it in the back of my mouth and swallow it. Alright, I'm going to turn that off. Because these teeth cause a lot of saliva. A lot of people have said that with their new teeth. Okay, I'm still not used to filming myself. And I'm still lisping, so just ignore my lisping. Um, but I am working on making a dinner right now. I am actually cooking up this yummy veggie pasta that I've had quite a few times and healthy super greens thin spaghetti pasta and this is like all the stuff that's in it I made it before here on my youtube channel and then I make my own like all, all homemade garlic breads in here so I add like butter and then I do um like some basil parsley italian seasoning on top and then I just heat it up in my toaster oven but I just turned it off so it's gonna sit in there and this is kind of how my noodles are looking right now. I got um, chicken nuggets in the microwave, just heating up. So I'm just giving this a little twirl. I was gonna use Alfredo, but I have this yummy pasta sauce right here. So I'm gonna use this one. I really like this one. I like the pasta sauce that has the built-in meatballs. That one is so good. It tastes like sausage. And then I got a little bit of parm cheese right here. So, um, yeah. Some chicken nuggets. I'm probably gonna like rip those apart and it's gonna be like a chicken parm for dinner kind of thing. I didn't have enough chicken patties so I didn't use chicken patties. Instead I'm gonna just do chicken nuggets and it's gonna kind of be like a chicken parm for dinner tonight. So um yeah wow it's so weird seeing me with teeth and still trying to like talk and get used to everything. I know I need to put my bottom teeth in my mouth. was blinking red i probably have to go charge it 32 right now so i usually eat dinner around five o'clock six o'clock i feel like i gotta sneeze i feel like i gotta sneeze my allergies have been acting up too um a little update on my teeth i don't really have much of a gag reflux anymore which is good i'm getting these sores on the side of my mouth which is normal i always have sensitive like mouth on the side right here and i have uh petroleum jelly medicine that's infused with like coconut oil that i put on like throughout the day and right before I go to bed it usually like helps them go away but they come back because I'm like putting it out of my teeth in my mouth and just dentist stuff so um yeah you're gonna see stories in the side of my mouth it's probably also from like the dry weather on top of having allergies does not help but I do have medicine that I've been using and putting on and everything to eat kind of the same um and so I get used to slowly eating solid foods and biting down on my foods because it takes a lot of practice when you get new food i had to relearn how to swallow my own saliva because these teeth create a lot of saliva and i don't know how to swallow and chew and still talk as you can tell i'm talking about this so, still some of the same things that i have to get used to i think i'm gonna charge my camera it's blinking i think there's the end of the video until i start my next video but yeah just cooking dinner it's still um the 26th i gotta put my butter back in the butter dish still the 26th february